Morgan now for Leicester. Very good afternoon to you. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, what are your thoughts on the plans that this pastor has? Well, we add our voice of condemnation to the voices of the Christian leadership, the Jewish leadership, our own Archbishop, and uh, religious leadership throughout the world, including politicians, that this is very wrong indeed. It's very uh, hurtful and very insensitive, and it will anger Muslims around the world. We are heartened and encouraged by the condemnation that we have heard from non-Muslim uh, leadership around the world. I think every decent human being would, uh, would agree that this is not the way to engage with people that you disagree with. Uh, if, pastor, if the pastor wants to engage Muslims, if he has issues with Islam and the Quran, he should sit, us, sit down with us. We can talk over a cup of tea and he will be pleasantly surprised to find that the Quran is very, very similar to the Bible. The Quran speaks very fondly of the Virgin Mother Mary, uh, very fondly about Jesus. It talks a lot more about Jesus than it does about Muhammad. In fact, there is a chapter in the Quran named Chapter Mary. I wonder if he's aware of all these facts. Uh, and, and I wish he will uh, stop what he's trying to do. His plans, as you say, have been condemned by world and religious leaders. How important is it, really, what one man does in one state of America with very few followers? I think it's very important for us to appreciate the fact that this is a very f uh, fringe element within the Christian communities of the world. Uh, mainstream uh, Christianity is opposed to this. Uh, our Archbishop and so many others have been very categoric that this is not what Christianity teaches. So does it matter then? Uh, uh, yes, this is the problem with uh, when you uh, touch the raw nerve of any community, people will react differently. People in the UK will react differently, the Muslims of the UK. Muslims in Afghanistan will react differently because of the political and military uh, uh, realities within, within that part of the world. And although we are deeply concerned about the increase in attacks on our troops and uh, on Western people, that should not be the reason why we condemn this. We should condemn this on principle that in a civilized modern world this is not the way to build understanding between different religious communities and between uh, humanity you say people uh, Muslim people will react angrily how angrily and how do you expect that to be expressed uh, going back by previous uh, reactions of Muslims in uh, particularly the Muslim part of the world uh, it is going to cause us even more uh, heartache and more pain because to see Muslims behave in this way in the streets is un-Islamic. That is not the way of Islam. That should not be the way of Muslims. But sometimes anger takes over people's uh, emotions and they allow their emotions to to overcome their, 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 their thinking. And, and we will call and urge Muslims to be, uh, to be not to be provoked, but to be disciplined, to be patient, and uh, to, uh, to rejoice the fact that a vast majority of Christians in the world and other religious communities are against this, are supportive of the fact that religious scriptures have to be respected. Okay. Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra from the Muslim Council of Britain, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. 421. Uh, let's just bring